Learning analytics is not just a product and it's not just a project. Um, products are a shiny thing that can come out of a box and that is something that is given to you uh, already in working condition and is ready to go. Uh, the GIST solution isn't necessarily that way. It is a more iterative process. And the advantage of having an institution uh, use a GIST solution is that they're also able to customize it in a way that works for their institution best. Learning analytics as a project is also a, a bit dangerous in terms of the expectations management for an institution. Um, a project has a start and end date. Learning analytics doesn't necessarily have an end date, nor should it. The more that an institution engages with learning analytics, the more questions will be asked that can be answered using further data, the more accurately a model can predict using more historical data. So it's something that you build upon. One of the things that we like to liken it to is a journey to get healthy. So if, you're, if you want to get healthy or you want to lose some weight, you're not going to start eating salad, running three miles, stop smoking, and never drink again in one day. It's, it's a step-by-step -step process. So that's how learning analytics needs to be looked at. It's a journey that an institution is going on. It's a lifestyle change that, that the institution is going on. The participation of stakeholders needs to be very broad within an institution, and it will involve people that the institution may not have even originally thought to involve. In our experiences, we've seen individuals from registry, from HR, from facilities management, student support, academics, different levels of management, different levels of students. Um, we, we advise to start somewhere, um, start with a group of people that might be obvious to you, uh, and from there you'll start to understand who else you might need to inform of what's going on. Yeah, and, and I think those early conversations, people uh, immediately begin to identify other stakeholders who might be interested in the conversation. Um, get it, getting those people involved early on starts conversations um, which, which you know, can keep going. We, we also worry just that pe people's aspirations for the first implementation might be uh, a little bit too big. So the conversations are well worth having early, um, but then set targets which are sensible. We engage with uh, academic staff dur during our uh, assessments. We think it's important that uh, teaching staff, who are often the personal tutors as well, uh, are, are involved and understand um, what the learning analytics will provide. The learning analytics will tell us what happened. The, the data just tells us something happened. Um, it doesn't tell us why that happened, so the human intervention the sense making is really important to in engage academics. Um, there's, there's an ethical issue as well. Like if the data is telling us that, that something happened and we do nothing about that, that, that seems um, quite a risk for the institution. So if we do put learning analytics in place, we need to make sure that we have humans who can make interventions uh, for, for the students. We also encourage institutions to involve academics um, personal tutors, lecturers, anyone from learning and teaching early on so that they can become advocates for communications and implications for workload uh, later on. One of the ways that we address a workload issue is related to uh, encouraging the institution to do a pilot with a small group of personal tutors and students so that advocates are created on both sides and they can speak in a, in a real-time manner with experience related to what, what did they go through, how did their workloads change, uh, what do they experience? Um, because it seems to be that that is a, a widespread concern amongst uh, academic individuals. So um, experience is the only way to really dictate how that's going to look. That workload um, will vary from institution to institution as well. So if um, an organization has a very strong personal tutoring um, uh, system in place, and a workload model that uh, recognizes the time that staff spend on this, Introducing learning and anal analytics and uh, presenting that data to tutors when, when they need it can become time saving. So it's not always uh, more work. So instead of having to go from one system to another to find the pieces of information to try and help that student, bringing everything into one place and prioritizing which students need looking after um, can, can really save time. But as Lindsay says, you know, the, the way to find the, the evidence for that is in uh, a pilot to experience this.